All right, in this example, we are told to, first of all, let or assume that u is a square, should have matrix here, but these are matrices, let u be a square matrix and also built in such a way that u transpose times u is equal to the identity matrix. If we assume all that, prove that the determinant of u has to be either plus or minus one. Now I wanna make one little note that I'm gonna need at some point in this proof. Note, the determinant of u equals the determinant of u transpose. And <clears throat> proving that can be a little bit of a mess, but hopefully intuitively it makes sense because the determinant is a characteristic of a matrix. When you transpose a matrix, all you've done is basically flipped it around and then you still go through and find the determinant. So you haven't changed a fundamental property of the matrix as far as its numerical values, you just change their orientation. And so for determinants, you wanna be careful about other things with matrices, but for determinants at least, the transpose does not affect it. And so I'm gonna use that in this proof. Okay, well, first things first, I wanna show the determinant of u is plus or minus one, but I know that u transpose u equals i. So what I'm gonna start with is this identity right here. I know that the determinant of, and I'm gonna flip it around here, determinant of the identity matrix is equal to the determinant of u transpose u. I'm basically taking this and taking the determinant on both sides. You can do that. So if you have one matrix equals another, then the determinants must also be equal. Well, here's what's cool here. First of all, the determinant of the identity, I'll write this to the left, is one. So I've already got an identity set up here that involves one. I just need to figure out where the plus or minus comes from. So I know that one equals the determinant of i equals the determinant of u transpose u. Well, the determinant of a product is the product of the determinants. So this is the determinant of u transpose times the determinant of u. All right, well, what's the determinant of u transpose? It's the same thing as the determinant of u. And so I have that this is the determinant of u times the determinant of u. Hey, what does that mean if I have something times itself? That must be, I'm gonna use brackets here, the determinant of u squared. And I'll just write it over here, remember this equals one. Well, how do I get rid of a square? Ah, I take the square root. So if I square root both sides here, I have the square root of the determinant of u squared is equal to plus or minus, remember, the square root of one. Well, the square root of a square cancels off, I just get determinant of u, and the square root of one is just one, but now we have the plus or the minus. And there we go. So if you have a matrix such that its transpose is its inverse, because that's what this means, right? u transpose times u equals identity, ah, well then the transpose must be the inverse because when I multiplied it by this matrix, I got the identity. Remember, that's what an inverse means. It's the thing you have to multiply a matrix by to get your identity matrix. And so if you have a matrix that's like that, it's square and the transpose is its own inverse, then the determinant of that matrix will always be either plus or minus one, which I think is kind of cool. And this proof has been laid to rest, tombstone, proof is done. There we go.